Welcome, listeners, to Just Neapolitan, where we ask the age-old question, if gaming persists for more than eight hours, should you consult a doctor? Joining me today is Jordan, and I'm your resident mouth breather, Brian. You know, breathing through the mouth is really hard. Sometimes you gotta change it up to the, to the nose. Yeah, I get plugged up noses a lot. It's not like I want to, it's just sometimes I have to. Do they say that it's better to breathe through your mouth? Uh, actually, so, <laughs> I mean, not a doctor, but I think you're <laughs> supposed to breathe through your nose. Because there's actually, so, this there's actually a cycle of which nostril is your dominant nostril. Mm-hmm. And each of them has different benefits. And I'm not sure what they are. I just know that much about it. Um, also, breathing through your mouth, like, dries your throat out really badly. And there's not as much, like, you know, we have our mucous membranes and hairs in our nose to, they're there to collect dust and everything. Yeah. Um, and there's less protections through if you breathe straight through your mouth. Uh, uh, we just need that the more you know sound. Yeah. It's that same moment when they be like, just breathe through your diaphragm. You get get more air in your uh, in your body than just taking it in your lungs. Yeah. Well, you get deeper breaths, yeah. So. Yeah. So, and that was our section on breathing today. <laughs> Borderlands 3 sucks. I I don't have a lot of games news this week, but I do have something that I saw. Um, a GameStop location in Brighton, Michigan. Shout out, Michigan. What's up? Woo! Uh, on Tears of the Kingdom Day, had the whole staff walk out. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, apparently they just didn't open. Like I guess it wasn't like a, a full-on walkout. It's just nobody came in, and there was a note on the door. About, you know, terrible working conditions and um, unreasonable uh, sales figures that the company wanted. And they all just quit. Man, GameStop is really going on a decline. And to think, I wanted to work there at a point in time. I mean, I think everyone who played games wanted to work there at a point in time. But that was during that point in time where the company was ran well. And it made sense for the company to exist. Yeah. But the company has not pivoted and changed any of its marketing or sales strategies. I don't know. And it's just like, you know, I'm sorry, not sorry. You're going to go the way of fucking Blockbuster. You're going to go the goddamn way of Borders. You're still all about your physical stores. Your shit's overpriced. It's bad quality. It's just like, yeah, you didn't. Your model's terrible. So you will fail. (laughs) Yeah. Not sorry. So I think that, what, they started going more towards, yeah, they still have physical, but they also have memorabilia. They have more, well, like, in-store, like, figurines and trinkets of anime and video game, like, last yeah. time I was in one. Yeah, it, and, well, I'd say, like, another big problem is they don't have a big enough online presence. True. You know, there's no centralized location, so if you go online... A lot of times it'll be like you go online and it's like, oh, it's at this store in your area. And I'm like, I just want you to ship it to me. And they're like, you can pick it up in this store in your area. And I'm like, it ain't the fucking 90s anymore. Like, you're still running running your business like it's the fucking 90s. You haven't pivoted. Like, bad businesses fail. Fuck off. And, you know, unless you've got a douchebag like Elon Musk willing to pump more and more billions of dollars into a failing, you know, business model. Oh, Lord. They don't got the, That's they don't what GameStop should have done. GameStop should have tried to get a get Elon to spend billions on him for nothing. I bet you he'll do it. Yeah, yeah, for the memes, just for the jokes. Yeah, uh, who doesn't love memes from a fucking edge lord billionaire that people like for some reason? But enough about that. That's our Elon Musk talk for the day as well. Yeah, <laughs> for yeah. breathing the Elon I, Musk I talk. <laughs> I don't want to get into it. I hate him, and I don't know why people like him, and that's all I gotta say about it. Um, hey, what games you been playing this week? What Man. games podcast? <laughs> Man, the only game I have been playing, I'm also Honey Rise. Cause... Wow, that's amazing! That's the only game I've been playing too. Oh, really? How'd you get it? <laughs> Oh, there's this humble bundle we all talked about last week. Oh man, that's crazy! I used the humble bundle too. What are you? Oh, that's amazing. 
It's even more amazing that by the time this comes out, everyone else has missed the bundle. <laughs> <laughs> I think there might be a, like a couple days left. Yeah. I mean, you know, if any like of the five people that listen to us care. Well, eight. We have eight. Hey. Oh, you know what? Well, there's two days left, but this will come out tomorrow. So there'll be have... a day left. Yeah. I'm just excited because that means there's a, there'll be a new bundle up. I mean, it felt like Stry- Street Fighter, Strider, Phoenix Wright, Monster Hunter, Mega Man, Zen, Bionic, Commando, and Dragon's Dogma. By, by yeah, the I had Dragon's Dogma. But let, let's just talk about how much fun I forgot Rise is, even though this is baby's first Monster Hunter. Yeah, it's just really relaxing to play, even though, like, you you know, uh, like, like, we all know each Monster Hunter is very different. Like, the ride, Rise is different from World. World is different from all the Generation games. But this one just feels more comfortable, more like... It's not really hand-holding, but you can, you can still d- go down and faint. But how we're playing this game right now, because we have experience, we're just gliding through this. Like, we're gliding through Village Quests, gliding through Hub Quests. No ease. Yeah, I mean, the biggest problem with the game is the goddamn Rampage quest. Oh, yeah. I did not ask for, nor did I want, tower defense games in my Monster Hunter. The nice thing is there's only two of them that are required. That being said, there's two required for the village quest. Mm-hmm. And two required for the hub quest. So, if you're like us and you do both, that's four. Sorry, right, once we get Floyd in there to play it, he loves those for some reason. So. I I just like them with a passion, only because it's a, to me it's a waste of time. No, it is. It's a complete waste of time. Like, I want the stuff that drops from him, because you can make good weapons. But I don't care. Also, I don't need really good weapons in this game. You know, that's I think that's my, my biggest thing, which I guess speeds the game up. But you don't Unless you really, really want something, you don't go and hunt a monster multiple times. I'm like, cool, are they dead? All right, on to the next one, because I can still use the same gear. Honestly. You know, like, I mean, what, if I can, when I'm wailing on a monster solo and killing it in eight minutes. Now, the bonus there is that means I can get a couple hunts in before work. Mm-hmm. With World, I'd have to be all like, ah, uh, yeah, I don't think I really have time for this. So that's a bonus. I love the the wire bug stuff too. Oh uh, yeah. Every time I play World now, if I get knocked over, I try and do the wire bug button, and I'm like, I can't do that here. Yeah, that's why I haven't went back to World. I kind of got used to wire wire bug free fall. It's like, oh oh shit, get hit, hit hey, cool, I'm out of here. Yeah, it's uh, that was the best feature they added. Well, the wall running is fun too, honestly, just uh for traversal. Also, the like, fight I do I do like. The verticality of the levels now is nice. Mm. You know. Also, I do find it funny how the, the wire, the wire fall is, you know, a easy get me out of there. Most of some of those monsters that I think this happened to me before will catch you in the midst of that. Like, oh, no, you're still not safe. Come here. And yeah, I have this problem me. because I'm super aggressive. Is that they'll knock me away, and I'll try to do my wire foo straight at them. And then they'll smack me out of the air again. And I'll try it again anyway. And they'll smack me out of the air. And now I'm like, cool. I'm like one hit from death. I need to run away and potion up real quick. Then there's me. I don't uh, learn lessons. Then there's me. I'm going right to left in my white book. Like, uh, no. Oh, you come to me? Go to the right. Get you, get you, get you. Go to the left. Get you, get you, get you. And then there's the bear just looks at me like, you know, I'm still running you down, right? I, I I was just going to talk about, was that the Barrett that kept doing that to us? Yep. That last hunt we had in the night where that fucker just kept charging you in your bow gun and running away from me. And so we're both like, you're like, get away from me. And I'm like, come back here. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just yeah. trying to give like little damage from the back. Like, you, you know, you got someone who's trying to take off your tail. He's very adamant. I'm just back here. <laughs> I don't remember, did we even get that fucker's tail? We did get that fucker's tail. Good. I hate the Barrow's tail always gives me trouble. It just he holds it up so fucking high. Which like from a design perspective makes a lot of sense because like with that big crown, like that's how a, a monster would you know, the tail is a, a counterweight. 
Yeah. So it wouldn't be down low. It'd be up, you know, higher. So, like, it makes sense in a design thing. I'm trying to cut that fucking thing off. Ugh, pain in my ass. But, it, I mean, since apparently we're going to just talk about Rise, because what are the games we have to talk about? Um, I got my Nargakuga Blade, finally. Ooh. Yeah, that one I wanted, so I did fight that three times to get the stuff I needed. And now I happy boy, and now I went, and now I'm killing stuff in, like, seven minutes. I, I can't wait so I can get my uh, Nargakuga uh, bow. Bowgun, because that's the one I like to use the most for uh, post, post-game post anyway, because it has good on slicing and good on pierce. And if any, if those who don't know, slicing and piercing is like a big thing, is almost one of the biggest things if you're trying to really knock down a monster real quick with a light, light BG or light bowgun. But when I get, once we get like farther in HR, I'm probably going to swap back over to Heavy Bowgun and strictly have like a sticky ammo set because I'm dropping, I'm dropping those monsters. Yeah, and I eventually finally had to give up my Switch Axe. Because mm. holy fuck did they nerf the fuck out of my Switch Axe in Rise. That pisses me off. That being said, I like the long sword, and so I'm perfectly happy using that, but I do miss my Switch Axe. Sound like everyone. But I still have, on the Switch, I have my Switch Axe user. So, I still play Switch on the Switch. <laughs> play Switch on Switch. You sound like everyone Switch, that's... Switch on Switch. You sound like everyone that started Monster Hunter Rise in the beginning. Because all they picked was long swords. There was so many long swords online. I'm like, did y'all not decide well, to pick anything else? Well, I think for a lot of people, especially if they're first time playing, that's what they start you with. They do. You're you're originally equipped. I mean, you have all the weapons in your little thing, your chest, but they start you with the longsword. The longsword's always been fairly popular, and it seems pretty OP. Now, granted, I haven't gone and done any... Although, that being said, those demon blades on, on Rise seem to be... Oof. Oh, those are disgusting. Yeah. I mean, those always kind of have been... Yeah, the... I mean, what are the weapons they take care? Of, make sure to take care of uh, the giant sword. Really, that's truly. always a good one if you know how to use it. Demon blades have always, you know, those don't get nerfed, and then bow guns never get nerfed. Hammer, nah, hammers do get nerfed sometimes. A hammer, I mean, I didn't like the hammer in Rise. I tried the hammer. Just, uh, the hammer and world, man, that would knock fuckers out. Man, catch, catch them when they're not paying attention. Jump them, jump them way high. I'm coming, bonk. Yeah, well, I think too, like because with the the wire bug, um, the monsters are much more mobile. Yeah. In rise, like fights are a lot more about positioning and moving around. Um, yeah, in world, everything kind of moved a little slower, but seemed to hit harder. Here they seem to move faster, but not hit quite as hard. So at least they did balance that. Yeah, I think the downfall, like you said, is really the hammer has a lot of "I'm in the air" moves, especially with the they gave it the command "flippy dip dip." I think on its its L its Y bug with plus Y on controller, and like you said, the monsters move way too much. So you're going to start going in the air and you think you're about to hit it. It just sidestepped. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, even some of the bigger ones move around very quickly. Dude. Fucking Mag- Magnum Olive moves way too much for my liking. And when we get to it, Valstrax moves way too much for my liking. Yeah, I don't have... I've never had a problem with Magnum Olive. I think I only had problems with, with Magnum Olive because of uh, what he sends out, and I'm always in that same vicinity of what he's shooting out. Yeah, he's uh, he definitely seems like one that's more of a problem for a long range. Yeah, because his his a lot of his heaviest moves are long range. Although I will say I hate that he has the uh, the Nergigante shoulder charge. 
I, every time I see him jump in the air to do it, I just get PTSD. <laughs> I'm Dive like, bomb. Uh, I'm like, oh, that's a one hit kill. And then he hits you with it, and I'm like, uh, it's not as bad. Yeah. As long as you don't have the blast blight on you, because that will make all of it explode. Fucking B2 bombing everybody. Like, oh shit, it's happening again. No, no, no. The B2 bomber is the basil juice. That's <laughs> juice, and we'll get juice, 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 ba- geese, ba- whatever. Ba- geese, the B52. This is why I only call him the B52. Yep. Yeah, I mean, one of the event quests right now is to take on two see- seething basil juices, and that'll that... be fun when we get there. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather face two furious with James, and that's me saying some- say something oh I, don't want- I don't You're ever want to say again. <laughs> Oh no! I'll, I'll take the B-52s all day. I'll take the monkeys. I'll, I'll take, take the them to the monkeys. fucking love shack, man. <laughs> and that and that's saying something. Now I know how much those monkeys hurt. I I'm just so surprised that the 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 Rajangs in this one use basically Donkey Kong's moves from uh, Smash Brothers. Yeah, like there's so many of those moves that are a straight copy, and I'm like, did they? Did yeah. they? Do you think they got permission to do that, or they just said you can't copyright a move set? Fuck you. I mean, technically you can't as long as it's not Donkey Kong doing it. You know. I mean, it's, all it's fair. definitely not. It's all fair game. Not with that huge lightning breath shit. <sighs> yeah, I've seen so many people die doing that, especially when I, I just join the Jang. Uh, online things just because I wanted to just get the material and go right the fuck back out. I've seen so many low low ranks or high ranked players get hit by that and then die because they don't have thunder resistance. So it's like y'all didn't come prepared for this. Y'all- yeah, uh, my my worst one uh, on the switch. I uh, was doing a wire bug in the air towards him. You know, just the, without my weapon out, and I was going to do a huge, you know, switch X smash down out of it. Mm. And uh, he did the one where he shoots it in the air, and he caught me while I was in the air. And uh, that knocked me down, and then he jumped and smashed me, and I was dead. <sighs> yeah, I hate him. I definitely hate him. Not as much as Kyron, though. That. That should not be an Elder Dragon. I don't like that damn horse. <laughs> Fuck that thing. It shouldn't be an Elder Dragon because it's not a fucking dragon. Ugh. Uh, but we, we will, we will, with Floyd and possibly with our buddy Eddie, too. If we can find a day we can get all four of us. We'll have the great Monster Hunter debate. And we'll cover everything. And probably get into a bunch of huge arguments. You have me, se- random you, stuff. You have me, Steven, just for bringing up Kieran. That's that's how bad it is. It's funny as I said it, and I was kind of like, okay, we got to get off this topic because we're we're getting into the weeds already, and that's going to take us down into the swamp. So, yep. Next thing you know, we'll be here for a minute talking, <laughs> just talking yeah. about how bad we don't like and, a Kieran. And, and, and yeah, this one needs to be a quicker one. Which, you know, the whole recording of the day before it goes out thing. Yeah. So, let's move forward to games coming out. Um, oh, let's see. I got Couple one. Caught my eye. Okay, go for it. As of today, Street Fighter Six Beta is out. Which also means we are now... Ten days away from Street Fighter Six dropping on June first, and by the time that game drops, get ready for me to shut down and talk about Street Fighter Six for a whole for a whole ten minutes. So what you're basically saying is we need to have the Monster Hunter conversation next week, or we won't have it for three months. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can make that happen. Yeah, I'm actually, because of the uh, story mode in uh, Street Fighter VI that they showcased, mm-hmm. I'm actually kind of excited about that. I won't be buying it day one. Of course. Um, I'll wait till it's half off. But since I'm not going to be playing it to fight against other people anyway, because 
I'm like, whatever. Anyone that I would want to fight against it with, you're all way better than me. So I'm like, so there's no match there. And, you know, I don't play well with others, so I'm not going to play online and try to get matched with people at my skill level. Oh, so but I'm ready for this entire house to be nothing but everyone yelling from their rooms during Street Fighter matches. That'll be fun. Yeah. Also, what's going to be fun is on September 18th, Mortal Kombat 1 is going to release. We also we got the trailer, I think, two days ago. And so it's like a reboot. Um, they took Liu Kang's storyline from the uh, DLC and made it into Mortal Kombat 1. So it's a revamp of the game again. Yeah. Cause it says, this, this is great, man. Their naming convention is... Uh, man. I feel... I feel... Th- this... This is the last couple decades with games. I feel very bad for anyone like 30 years from now that tries to get into retro games. Mortal Kombat, which one? What do you mean? Yeah, I'm one? like, which one do I start with? Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat, or Mortal Kombat 1? Yeah. Yeah, fun times. And then with everyone doing like, uh, you know, the old games now, it's going to be hard to tell what era a game came out in. Ooh. Which, can I say, I was all for like, the pixel graphic games coming back because the sprites and all that stuff, those still look good today. Those hold up. Now that there's become this obsession about remaking games and making them look like PS1 games, and all I can think to myself is, those games looked like shit when they came out. We knew they did. We were excited because they were 3D models. That's what was cool about it. Since that's gotten better, there no, there is no fucking reason to go back to that dumb shit. It looked bad then. It looks it, worse now. Yeah. PS1 games did not age well. I'm looking at I you, know. Devil May Cry. Oh. Yep. Uh, how about them uh, 3D Castlevanias, man? Uh. That's what always comes to mind when I think about it. You also oh, know, those were terrible. Also, a game that didn't age well is Tomb Raider on a Dreamcast. That whole thing in this Atari did, didn't age well. Oh, you mean... Laura having conical uh, pointy boobs didn't age well? Yeah. I mean... Uh, that's that's strange. I mean, Good thing we got jiggle physics these days, huh? Yeah. Like, Joe Live doesn't put it in that game every fucking five seconds. Ay, ay, ay. So, uh... Alright, what I was looking at... Uh, Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun. Uh, which is a FPS... And uh, definitely, like, boomer shooter vibes, so... Like, I might... We'll see. How many Warhammer games are there? Once again, I'm... Uh, dude, we... If I wanted to list every Warhammer game, ever, and not the ones, like, that are even listed to be coming out, because there's, like, 10 or 12 that are supposed to be coming out this year. Mm -hmm. Um, I could probably do an entire podcast just listing the names. (laughs) And then explaining a slight blurb about what they're about. Please do. Like, I'm talking like not even a paragraph each, and that'd probably be an hour long episode just going through them. Please do an April April Fool's episode like that. (laughs) Where the whole thing is just me listing the games off? Yep. You know what? I'll think about it. That doesn't even sound fun for me, though. (laughs) (laughs) Like. Also, you know how much work I'd have have to go, I would have to do so much research just to find them all and then look at them, and I would not play them, because then that's like, oh yeah, two years later, here you go. Um, Lord of the Rings Gollum, it's coming out on the 25th, Mm -hmm. that's one that, I don't know man, that's like Floyd and I talked about it, and that's either going to be really fucking good, or it's going to be a complete piece of shit. I don't think there's any middle ground on that game. I don't think it will be a middle ground. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't think it's possible to. But I I do want to try that one. That is one that I I've been keeping my eye on. I do want to give that a shot. Does it give the same vibes uh, as the the D&D game? No, no, no. It's uh, it's it's so you play Gollum and it's going to be extremely stealth based. Um, uh and it's going to be like your story, like in between and you having to survive, you know, there's going to be orcs that you got to evade and everything. And obviously you have the ring and you can't let Sauron find it and all that good stuff. 
So, as I said, because of the the whole stealth thing and how everything works out, and then also how the game's going to act once you're located, because we all know if you're stealthing, you're going to get found at some point. Seeing how the game reacts to that, you know, and how will they do it, and then the story, I think, is going to be a really big thing too. I don't, I don't think the game's going to stand much if the story's not there for it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then here's what I noticed, and it, uh, so I noticed this DLC coming out, and I literally had to go look to find out when the game first came out because I was like, well, "This is too early for DLC." So you remember the game for Spoken? Yeah. Yeah, so that's got an expansion coming out already. Didn't that game just drop? It dropped literally five months ago. So on on January 24th of this year, it dropped. It's already got an expansion coming out the 26th of this month. Damn. In other words, part of the game that it didn't launch with, you don't, there's no, no. You don't have expansions five months later, on a, especially not in a game that size, a AAA game. What you have is part of the game you didn't launch with the game, so you could sell it to people for more later. Which, new IP, kind of a risky proposition, because as far as I know, nobody really gave much of a shit about that game. That is true. I haven't heard no commotion about the game. I don't even remember. I remember maybe seeing a review when it came out that I didn't care enough. I was like, I don't care. Because I remember I saw a trailer for that game at some point. One of the, you know, one of the the things where they're like developer trailer things that they do where they have a bunch of games at once. You know, basically like the new way to do E3 since once again, E3 was a broken business model. And now everyone's like, well, we can just do this online. Yeah. Um, so like one of those, I remember seeing it and I watched it and I'm like, that doesn't even, I don't care about that at all. And that was about the last I remember hearing about it. So I don't think I was the only one who didn't give a shit about it. That's everything I got for this week. Oh, I got none. Oh, I got none on this end. Nice short one for everybody. Go enjoy that fucking weather. Touch some goddamn grass. Touch grass. What's that? I I don't know, but apparently people do it. All right. Well, we love y'all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.